Hey everybody, Mark McComb here from Microchip Minutes, and in this episode we're going to use the analog to digital converter with computation peripheral on a PIC 16 f 18855 to convert the voltage across the potentiometer on an MPLAB Express board to a 10-bit value. Once we have that value, we'll then send that to the USART peripheral. Using a printf statement, we're going to transmit that value over the USB to a computer running a terminal program. I have MPLAB Express opened in my browser in which I've created a new project for the PIC16 F18855 and I also have the co-configurator open. That's all we need, so let's start the clock. I'm going to use the default settings for the system and add the ADCC and USART peripherals from the device resources list by double clicking on each. Highlighting the ADCC peripheral, I'm going to make sure I'm operating in basic mode and I'm going to use the system clock as the clock base and also scale that by two to make sure my conversion clock shown here as TAD is at least two microseconds. I'll set my result alignment to right to give me a result value between zero and 1023. I'll set the acquisition time to one, which means the ADCC will wait one times two microseconds, which is the ADCC clock period before it actually performs the conversion. Down in the pin manager, I'll tie the RA4 pin to the ADCC input by clicking here under the RA4 column in the ANX row. Next, I'll go ahead and highlight the USART peripheral and I'm going to enable transmit. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the redirect STDIO to USART is checked. We can leave everything else as is and let's go down to the pin manager and tie the transmit signal to RC0 and the receive pin or RX pin to RC1. Last step, let's go into the pin module, change the ADCC input to something a little more meaningful like pot. That's it for the code configurator, so we can go ahead and hit the generate button. We'll click OK. Returning to the MPLAB Express IDE, we can see that there are now source and header files for the USART and ADCC peripherals. Let's open up the adcc.h file and scroll down to locate this function here called adcc underscore get single conversion. Let's highlight that and then copy it. Next, I'll go ahead and open up the main.c source file and scroll down to the while one loop in the main function and I'm going to add a printf statement. First, I'll open up the brackets here, then open quotations and add the backslash n and backslash r to print to a new line and perform a carriage return. Then I'll say something like ADC value is, and I'll add a percent sign with an I next to it to indicate that we're going to add an integer value here. Close quotations, add a comma. Now let's go ahead and paste that ADCC function we copied earlier. We'll change the arguments inside the function to the name of the ADCC pin we named in the co-configurator earlier, so pot. Now I have one more bracket to close the printf function call right before the semicolon. And that's it, let's go ahead and stop the clock. Clicking the Make and Program Device button will compile my code and then download the .hex file. I'll drag and drop that .hex file onto the express board which shows up as a drive and the PIC16F18855 is programmed. Now if I connect to the serial port using a terminal program like the one here, I should see the ADCC value change as I rotate the potentiometer on the board. For more project examples, to visit our wiki or to take part in the MPLAB Express forums, please visit mplabexpress.microchip.com. My name is Mark McComb. Thanks for watching.